This video demonstrates how to install Ubuntu into a VirtualBox VM. In order to follow this video, you should have 1. Installed VirtualBox, 2. Downloaded Ubuntu Desktop, and 3. Created an Ubuntu Virtual Machine, in this case Ubuntu User 01. Check out the previous videos if you need to. The first step in doing an Ubuntu install is to make sure the VM is able to find your Ubuntu ISO file. Do this by going in check in the storage CD for the CD DVD controller and make sure it's set up to go to Ubuntu 10.04 desktop ISO or to double check wherever it, you know in your uh, file folder system wherever it is. Once that's done, go ahead and click start. You'll see you've got some auto capture keyboard. We're not going to worry about this right now. We we'll just click on OK. Again, virtual machine is optimized to work in 32-bit color. We're not going to worry about this right now. Just click OK. Ubuntu will install from the ISO file. It will trundle for a while. When the window comes up, you're going to have two choices. One is to install Ubuntu. We're going to install. You're also going to be asked for the language. In this case, we're going to pick English and we're going to install Ubuntu 10.04.2 LTS for long term service. And this sets up the install on the virtual machine. Pick your time zone, region, in this case, we're going to pick United States, United States, New York. Click on Forward. Pick your uh, keyboard. In this case, USA. Don't worry about typing text. We're just going to take the suggested op option and click on Forward. It says the computer has no operating system on it. We're going to erase and use the entire disk and we're just going to take all default options and simply click on forward. In this case you need to put in a name. In this case I'm just going to put in user and a password. Now for a good password you should use a letter, at least one letter, one capital letter, lower case letter, some symbol like dollar sign, mark, um, and a number. In this case I'm going to put in PAS dollar W0RD and it's going to ask that you retype it. PAS dollar W0RD and it's going to say strength fair. Of course it's like password. Click on forward gives you all the settings. If you continue we're going to go and you have a choice for advanced settings we're just going to leave that alone for now and just click on install. Creates the uh, ext4 file system and it'll be installing from uh, your ISO file that you have uh, previously downloaded. Fairly simple, just sit back and wait until this is uh, through.
Once the installation has uh, finished, it will say installation complete. But we're not ready to quit yet. We still have to do some things to set up this virtual machine. Right now, click on Restart Now. And let it go until it's asked you to remove. Please remove the disk and close the tray if any, then press enter. It's asking you to remove that ISO file. So we're going to go Devices and we're going to remove the ISO file, remove the disk from the virtual drive. Click on that. This will, so the next time Ubuntu starts, it'll be starting from the hard drive and not from the ISO file. Then we're going to go over here and we're going to make the host drive D, which is a regular CD DVD drive. Just set that up so that when it starts, it's ready to go. Now it says, then finally press enter. Ubuntu will restart and then you will log into Ubuntu. Now after it restarts, put in username. In this case, the user is user, and the password we password pas dollar w zero r d in my case or whatever you chosen for your password. Click on login. A little bit loud here. Now uh, we have to install guest editions to make Ubuntu a uh, little more the virtual machine work a little better with a host machine. This gives you better graphics. It also gives you better control over the mouse. So we're going to go up here where it says devices and, and click on install guest editions. Click on that. It's going to ask you VBox editions, open Rana. You know, we're going to go ahead and just click OK. Click on run. And it's going to ask for your authentication. Again, this is your password. In this case, whatever password you have chosen, it authenticates and makes sure that there's not a uh, virus or uh, rogue program running that you have authorized it. And you simply wait for VirtualBox guest editions to install. When it finishes install, it's going to ask you that you hit enter again. But it takes a few minutes for it to install. And it's done. Press return or enter. Uh, now, if you wish, you can go to Preferences and change your uh, monitor. Oops, I'm going to have to restart it before I can change the monitor. And one more thing you need to do before, uh, let, before we start it and change the monitor is go to uh, install all your updates, especially your security updates. So it's asking you to install, I don't know, there's about uh, 133 uh, updates. So we're going to cl click on install updates and just automatically put in your password again. Click OK. And we're just let it download these files. It's like a Windows update. And install them. And it's going to take a while for, for to install these updates. After the updates are installed, we'll restart the system and we'll go 
back and um, change show you how to change the system monitor because uh, the options are really not there uh, until you restart it after the VirtualBox editions have been installed. Once your files are downloaded, then they, of course, they have to be installed in Ubuntu. And that can take some time also. Once you've completed your updates, let's go ahead and restart it now. We'll log back in and uh, make the screen a little bit larger. Click on user, put in your password, log in. Go to system preferences and you may want to set your monitor at a different size. Click on apply. and you're ready to go and ready to use it and you've got some games here graphics programs internet your firefox web browser some office programs open office word processor spreadsheet presentation some sound video programs and the ubuntu software center where you can get more uh, open source and free programs of your choice. That's it for the install. You should be good to go.